In autologous therapy, cells are harvested from the patient and then shipped to a manufacturing facility where they are genetically modified to perform a specific function. For example, for CAR-T-based cell therapy, harvested T-cells are modified to express a chimeric antigen receptor that is composed of a single-chain antibody against a target exposed on the surface of the tumor cells, such as CD19 and an engineered transmembrane and intracellular domain to stimulate the cells to expand and kill the target tumor cell. The modified T-cells are then expanded in culture, cryopreserved, and shipped back to the patient's treatment center where the cells are thawed and readministered to the patient. One of the biggest benefit of autologous cell therapy is in the reduced chances of an immunological reaction against the donor cells and of graft-versus-host disease, since the donor cells are being used. The cells also have a chance to persist in the patient's body for months or years to elicit a long-term response. However, Autologous cell therapy has several major challenges that might render it less favorable as a future therapy for high-prevalence diseases as it has a limited ability to scale, and the potential for serious quality, consistency, and safety issues over time. Allogeneic cell therapy involves the use of cells from a donor other than the patient. It has several advantages over autologous cell therapy making it an appealing option that aligns well with pharmaceutical company procedures and operations. It is based on an off-the-shelf product, which means that the patient receives cells derived from a healthy donor genetically engineered to elicit the therapeutic response required, which are then stored in a cell bank system and shipped to patients as needed. As a result, the patient receives the cell treatment on demand directly from the manufacturing facility, saving valuable time especially in the context of rapid disease progression. The logistics are simpler compared to autologous cell therapy, so there are fewer delays and errors, and because the cells come from healthy donors, they have not been exposed to prior chemotherapeutic agents and can be pre-selected for quality. Importantly, if the patient requires additional treatment, a second identical batch from the same donor can be delivered quickly. Because multiple batches are derived from the same donor, there is consistency among them. In addition, more complex genetic manipulation can be done in a controlled way with standard quality assurance and the possibility to leverage automation and scale up the manufacturing process. All this contributes to lower cost of goods, which means companies can offer a competitive price compared to alternative treatment options and reimbursements. Allogeneic treatment aligns with the current business model of pharmaceutical companies and maximizes the commercial potential and profit margins.